Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tash Teaches. I'm Tash and in today's video I want to show you the solution that I found to a recurring problem that I had over the last year when using Claude Code, which would be that in the midst of doing something I would have an idea for a new feature or a new thing to research about the current directory, or perhaps I would encounter a bug or an issue that probably does need fixing but just not right now. In the early days I would open up my Apple Notes and I would scroll some stupid cryptic note that future me even 24 hours in the future would not know what I was talking about. Then I started creating a markdown file in the same directory and just typing in some nonsense. But at the end of the day I would always kind of lose track of what it is that I was doing and I would never have the same level of context as I did in the moment in the future. So I came up with a really useful two prompt slash command system that I want to share with you today. The link will be in the description down below where you can get a bunch of my favorite prompts that I use in Claude Code. But without further ado, let's jump right in and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I want to give you a real life example of when this might come in handy. As you can see here, I'm in the middle of building or improving a VST audio plugin called AutoClip. And in the process of running my improvement workflow, I've encountered a problem with the Verify Backup shell script that I've got. It says here that the script expects a version without the V prefix or whatever. In the end, it managed to figure it out, but I don't want to have to keep figuring this out in the moment. I'd ideally like to fix this. However, I'm in the middle of building something, and I'd like to come back to this at a later date. So all I do is I run my add to to-dos, and then I could just copy and paste this little piece here, and I'll just put that in speech marks, and I'll say, I want to uh, research and fix the backup script so this does not happen again. So I'll just paste that in there and you're going to see that quite quickly what Claude is going to do is it's going to start reading the to-dos file in this particular directory. Note that it is in every directory, wherever you run it from. So if we have a look to see actually what's on the to-dos list, we've got a few things that I actually need to come back to at a later date, just not now. So let's have a little look here. You can see that the last one we've got is automated plugin testing, whatever. Okay, fine. We're going to give it one second and very shortly is added here a new part to the script. Fix, verify, backup to handle version, blah, 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 blah. Now it's done that and straight away it says, would you like to continue with whatever? So we can go right back to where we are. Most of the time though, all I do is I double press escape and then I go back to here and I press enter and I don't restore code and conversation because it's added that to do. All I do is restore conversation, double press escape and I'm back to where I was. But the key thing is if I now open a new chat and I'll start, start Claude here, I now have the other command where let's say it's an hour from now, maybe even a month from now. I come down and I say, well, what do I still need to do? Instead of actually checking a list, all I do is I run my check to do's prompt and it's going to go and read that list and present it very nicely for me with the option to just select something that I'd like to continue working on with a number. So as you can see, it's given me all of the outstanding work that I need to do, exploring, adding automated plugins. And there we go, there's our fix verify backup script to handle version with or without. Fine, I'm going to press 12. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up the full context of that specific thing. It's not going to start working on it straight away, but it's going to go ahead and it's going to read the relevant files that actually if we do have a quick read of what this is, it does add in all of the specific um, roots to those files, what exactly was included, because of course the chat that we launched this in had all of the context leading up to it. So instead of me stupidly as a human going in there and trying to write down what's important, I let Claude handle that. And you can see now it says here, um, okay cool, it's actually started going on it, it's found the two scripts that need the fix and it's doing it for me right away. Nice, straight away it's then deleted that from the list so if I now go back and have a look at the to-dos file, um, wherever that is up here, uh, you can see that if we scroll down to the bottom, it's no longer there. It's got rid of that. We have something else. I want to explore adding automated plugin testing later on. But what's nice is it's now done that. All I do is press 1, commit these changes, and it's gone ahead and it's fixed what that problem was. This is so handy because whatever, doc, uh, whatever directory you end up in, there's always going to be something you want to do, just not now. So say, for example, I go into my the folder where I'm building MCPs. I want to remember at a later date a cool idea for an MCP. So let's just like check my to-dos. These could be new features, these could be fixes, these could be things that you want to research, however it is. 
but I don't necessarily always want to remember them off the top of my head. I want for each directory to list these. So cool. Outstanding to do's in my MCP folder. I want to build a telegram bot for remote Claude, co clo Claude code control using session resume. Nice. Okay. What about build Neo4j back journaling MCP server? Yeah, let's get started on that. I'm just going to press two and it's going to pull up again that full context which has a lot of context here. I talked with it for quite a while about this self-reflection journaling MCP system. So straight away you can see here that it has also, and here's a key thing about it, if we actually pull up Windsor so we can have a look here, this add to to-do has a bunch of nice little logic in it just to make sure that it doesn't add duplicates. If you do add something that's similar, it says, do you want to actually replace that? But this check to do's is very nice because one of the key things it does is it looks to see in the directory if there is a particular skill or any information in Claude.md that is explicitly saying that a, a type of workflow must be executed. So because we are in this MCP folder, I have a skill called create MCP servers. So it would be silly for if I were to have told it, okay, do number two, if it were to go and do that in a way that did not take into account my skills that I've worked hard to actually set up for it. So all I now need to do is press one and it's going to go ahead and it's going to start building that MCP server for me using the very predictable and I have to say very efficient MCP server creating skill that I've set up. So you can see that's now launched the create MCP server skill and it's going to start with the process of asking me some questions. One thing important to note is that I don't actually want to build this right now. Just double press escape and I could go here and do restore code and conversation, or I could just say add it again. But what's nice, if I clear my context and I say check to do's, you're going to see that it's added it right back there again. It's so easy to checkpoint and undo what's done. So we'll go back here again to do's. I wasn't ready to build that MCP server. There we go. Nice. So I'm going to put a link in the description down below to a repo with not just this um, to-do management system, but also the video I posted the other day on prompt engineering, meta prompting, as well as a very handy context uh, handoff prompt that I'm going to be making a video about soon. But I hope this is helpful. It's a total game changer. Anytime you're in the midst of doing something, building something, and you want to keep your mind focused, but those are the times when the best ideas come through, right? It's always like, ah, fuck, I need to fix this. I need to do this there. Don't try and do it right now. Add it to your to-dos, you know, particularly if it's late at night and you've had this idea, go to bed. Just go to bed, add it to the list. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.